Welcome back guys to my YouTube channel New Sum. I uh, hope you guys had a good long weekend. And um, there has been a lot of um, you know new news, um, a lot of updates also on coronavirus, easing up on lockdowns. And um, cases are still coming and going. So please guys stay safe as much as possible. Um, uh, today's news is related to technology. So, um, you know, people who belong to the technology field are very much worried lately because um, a lot of their work is being replaced by automation. So automation technology, meaning any tools that can replace employers to get through with the effect of the coronavirus pandemic, which is according to KPMG. And KPMG is a global network of professional firms that providing audit, tax and advisory services. So that's what they, that they do. So an estimated of 67% of workers at U.S. technology firms are worried that they will be losing their jobs to digital abilities that are run by artificial intelligence, machine learning, and any kind of robotic software. Now, and if you compare with workers at companies that are outside the tech field, it sits at 44%. So 67 in tech field and 44 out of the tech field. Now, beyond automation, 70% of tech field workers are worried about having their jobs completely eliminated because of the result of economic crisis due to the coronavirus outbreak. And if you compare workers um, at companies in other industries, the comparison is at 57%. So there was a survey that happened in April and results are based on 1,000 full-time and part-time workers across a various range of industries, including 223 employed in the tech center. Tim Zanni, who is KPMG tech industry practice leader, he said that workers in the tech industry are closer to the technology and those have a unique understanding, more so than other industries of technology and its capabilities. He also added that workers at technology firms see a rising digital potential in early stages of development and they're most likely to be thinking of the influence of these tools on their jobs. Now, according to the analysis of labor department data, in April, the U.S. technology companies took away a record of 112,000 jobs. Wow. And the United States tech field employs about 6 million workers, which includes tech professionals, as well as people in the marketing and sales, human resources, and other related position departments. And together, it sums up for an estimated 4% of the total U.S. workforce. So... And on the other hand, jobs in the area of artificial intelligence are providing to be stronger as it's the key element to automation. And technology market research firm International Data estimates that the artificial intelligence jobs globally can increase by as much as 16% this year, reaching more than 950,000 jobs. The increase in those jobs is being driven by strong demand for the um, automation uh, artificial, I'm sorry, artificial intelligence capabilities as the companies are facing with the after results from the coronavirus pandemic. Now that the tech companies are involved in the development of the artificial intelligence progress take the lead, so about 40% of those companies worldwide are increasing their use of automation as a result from the pandemic. So Daniel Dyens, who is the CEO of UiPath, which is a global software company and they develop like a platform for robotic process automation. He said that we believe that hyper automation is where the market is now headed. He also believes that the artificial intelligence equipped automation is going to create new higher level jobs as software tools are taking over the typical boring and repetitive tasks such as processing paperwork or managing emails and allowing and qualifying employees to be more productive in other sectors and areas. Thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's article.